My name is Andrea Neverson. I am editor at large at Ranch and Coast Magazine, and I've had a 50-plus year career in um, as a newspaper reporter, magazine editor, network TV correspondent, uh, anchor, and uh, I, I, I've pretty much done it all. <laughs> growing up all over the United States I had a very big impact on me. Growing up. Being the new kid on the playground all the time was difficult, but it, it also taught me adaptability. Uh, I overcame my shyness, and the main thing is that I developed a curiosity for what was beyond my own backyard, and that really led to my lifelong work as a reporter. My mother, her name was Monghild Thelma Anderson, she was a superwoman. How she managed to raise my brothers and me while moving every few years around the country. And she was also a wonderful writer. She wrote not only um, very newsy letters that you know kept the family together when we were away to college. She also wrote family profiles. She was really the family historian. My mother was such an inspiration that um, I mentioned uh, her in my history book, um, San Diego Coming of Age in Modern History. Dedicated to my mother, Thelma, whose letters and family profiles, rich in detail and description, inspired me to write. She was my first and my most influential teacher. When I was still in college, I got um, an internship at the Plain Dealer, Ohio's, it was then Ohio's largest newspaper. I arrived for the summer, they sent me to the women's pages, and I had a lot of opportunity to write, to, to report, and I absolutely loved it. I can remember thinking, I mean, this was a long time ago, I have found my life's work. For me, life would be very empty without philanthropy. Uh, my parents uh, raised my brothers and me to give back, even though at times we didn't have a whole lot to give. Uh, so I've been very involved over the years with a number of philanthropic groups, um, Rady Children's Hospital, the Auxiliary, um, the Salvation Army Women's Auxiliary, and the Country Friends, which is a 70-year-old uh, nonprofit. Well, I'm thrilled and I am so honored to be in the company of the fabulous women who are being honored along with me. And uh, it's, it's very humbling. You know, why me? I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just totally in awe.